So in three dimensional geometry, another important derivation that we come across is the equation of a plane in the normal form. This is the first uh, derivation in the plane. So here we are going to find out the equation of a plane in the normal form, both in the vector and Cartesian form. Okay. So consider the rectangular coordinate system x, y and z axis. So consider a plane consider a plane in the rectangular coordinate system Let the plane be at a distance d from the origin. Let the plane be at a distance d from the origin. So, I am taking a plane in the rectangular coordinate system. Let the distance of this plane be d from the origin. Let ON be the normal. Let vector ON be the normal. to the plane and n cap be the unit normal vector in the direction of vector Oh, yeah. So we get vector OL is equals to n cap into d because the length of the ON is d and the n cap is a unit vector along that. So vector ON will be equal to n cap into d. Now take any point P on the plane. Take any point P on the plane. Any point P on the plane. With the position vector of OP as vector R. Okay, I am taking a point P here. The position vector of this vector B, vector R. Now, because ON is perpendicular to the plane, and if you take NP on the plane, so naturally NP will be perpendicular to ON. Okay. So clearly NP is perpendicular to OP. I'm sorry. ON. So if two vectors are perpendicular according to the dot product NP vector dot 
O n vector must be equal to zero, and uh, n p vector can be written as O p vector minus O n vector dot O n vector is equal to zero. That is, if I write here, that is, O p vector is vector r. Minus vector O n. Here it is n cap into d. So n cap into d dot O n dot n cap into d is equals to zero. Now using the dot product, vector r into vector r dot Vector n cap into d minus n cap dot n cap into d square equal to zero. But here n cap is a unit vector. N cap is the unit vector in the direction of. Here we have written n cap is the unit vector in the direction of vector o n. So n cap dot vector n cap will be equal to one. Equal to one. Then our equation reduces like this. R dot n cap into d minus d square equal to zero. If I take d square on the other side, R dot n cap into d is equal to d square. And uh, that is equals to r dot n cap equal to d. Now this is an equation of the plane in the vector form. Okay. So here vector r is the position vector of the point P, and n cap is the unit normal vector along the direction of vector O n, and d it is the distance of the Uh, you can you can call it as a perpendicular distance of the plane from the origin. Okay, now this is the vector form of the equation of the plane. This is the vector form of the equation of the. Plane. Okay. Now the same equation we are going to derive uh, in the Cartesian form. Okay. So keep this uh, equation of a plane in the vector form as it is in your mind. Now let us derive the Cartesian form of the plane. No. So here, point P is some arbitrary point. So for Cartesian form, let us take the coordinates of P as x, y, and z. So Vector r will be equal to x i cap y j cap plus z k cap, and whereas vector n cap is a unit normal vector, so that's why using the direction cosines, I can write n cap as n i cap. Plus yam j cap plus yam k cap, where yam 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 are direction cosines. Okay, then 
I'm going to substitute these two values into that equation. Okay. I'm going to write that equation as it is vector dot, I'm sorry, vector r dot n cap is equals to d. So r I have here is xi cap plus yj cap plus zdk cap dot n cap using the direction questions I have written here it is l i cap m j cap plus n k cap is equal to b. Now again using the dot product of two vectors we get like this lx plus m y plus n z equal to d. Now this is the equation of the plane in the Cartesian form.